be weird, live better, make a difference, Mark Doing. Thank you, Master of the Toes, to welcome fellow Masters of Toast and honored guests. Did that sound a little weird? And I just opened this speech using a fake Italian accent? If you look up the word weird in the dictionary, it simply means out of the ordinary or strikingly different. However, if you look up the word normal, it just means average or mediocre. Today, I'm going to help you to avoid living an average mediocre life, and I'm going to show you how you can be weird, live better, and make a difference. Surveys tell us a lot about what's average and normal. For example, the majority of people in surveys say that they're dissatisfied with their current fitness level. They're either overweight or underweight or out of shape. That's normal. The majority of people in surveys say they're dissatisfied with their job. They feel they're working far below their true potential. Their work isn't super meaningful or rewarding. They just have pretty much settled for a job to pay the bills. That's normal. The majority of people in surveys also tell us that they're dissatisfied with their financial situation. They have far too much debt and far too little savings. That's normal. Wouldn't it have been a lot easier if when we were children, they simply formed two lines representing the two potential futures we could have? In one line, there'd be somebody standing there going, children, if you want to grow up to live a normal, average life where you're dissatisfied and you have a job you don't like and you never have enough money, come over here. Ch children, come back. <laughs> and then the other line was someone standing there going, hey everybody, if you want to avoid being normal, come over to my line. I will show you how to be weird, how to live better, how to make a difference in life. <laughs> we were pretty smart. We could have picked the right line. <laughs> Unfortunately, when I was growing up, I didn't even learn how to live a normal life. I learned how to live below me Six days after my 10th birthday, my mom died unexpectedly. It was 1969. My brother had been using drugs and alcohol as a means to cope with life, and that's how he coped with her death. He taught me how to use drugs and alcohol, too, and at 10 years old, I began a journey into drug and alcohol abuse. One year later, when I was 11 years old, we went to visit my grandfather morning we came to visit him. My grandpa stuck a gun to his head and committed suicide while we were there. I used drugs to deal with that too. Over the next few years, I used drugs and alcohol to cope with everything. By the time I was 20 years old, I was an addict, an alcoholic, and a ninth grade dropout. Fortunately, by the time I reached my mid-20s, I began to listen weird people. These were success gurus like Earl Nightingale and Zig Ziglar. They taught success principles. Over time, I studied these things and I developed my own four-step process for living a better life. I'm very happy to report it's been working pretty well because by all standards, I'm not normal. <laughs> the truth is, today, I am a director-level executive for a $100 million company. I have an income that's in the top 7% of wage earners in the United States. I have a successful marriage of over 25 years. I've even published several books designed to help other people. But the coolest thing of all is that I learned this important lesson. Our success in life, in any area of life, is not determined by our circumstances. Our success in life is determined by following an effective process. Now. I'm going to teach you this same process so that you too can be weird, live better, and make a bigger difference. In order to do that, I'm going to use the letters of the word weird as an acronym to spell out the steps and make it more memorable. So if you'll take the letters of the word weird, W-E-R-D. That's weird. I have two things to say. Ninth grade dropout. <laughs> And this spell is memorable. Here's the formula. The first letter, W, stands for write it down. Write down everything you want your life to be. Write down the type of income you'd like to have, the type of career you'd like to enjoy, the type of financial freedom 
Write down the type of relationships you'd like to have. Even write down the type of fitness you'd like to enjoy. Write down everything you want. The second letter, E, stands for elect. Elect one thing from that list to focus on and set it as a goal right now. The third letter, R, stands for roadmap. Create a roadmap that will take you from where you are all the way to the successful completion of your goal. Write down everything you would need to do to get from here to there. Write down potential obstacles that could get in your way. And potential ways around those obstacles. Write down organizations, people, resources that can help you to reach your goal. The final letter, D, stands for discipline. Whatever it takes, whatever you have to do, figure out a way to discipline yourself to follow your roadmap. Because the more you accomplish on that roadmap, the better your life becomes. You can use this formula to accomplish almost anything that you can imagine. But the really cool part is, is as you overcome your obstacles and challenges, achieve your goals and dreams, you gain the necessary experience to help other people overcome their obstacles, help them achieve their goals and dreams too. That is pretty rewarding. You and I know the simple truth. This world is filled with far too many people living an average, normal life, secretly wishing for something better. The best thing that you and I can do to help them is that to be weird, to live better, and to make a difference in life. <laughs> Thank you.